Welcome back to the Olds Municipal Library's Picture the Book. Are you ready to be a little bit wild? Excellent, because today we're going to get wild. And we're going to do some things about you and me. Awesome. But before we can do that, we have to say hello. Are you ready? Say, say, everybody. Come on and clap with me and bring your happy smile. Bounce around a while. Shake, shake your hands now. Shake, shake your bottom too. Shake your toes is ten. And that's the end. Are you ready to do a song that we've never, ever, ever done before? Okay, let's give it a go. We're gonna start by counting. One, two, Three. Ready? Fingers. One, two, three. Roll with me, roll with me, and you will see everybody's smiling happily. Rolling, rolling. One, two, three. We did okay, right? Let's try it with waving. Can you do that? One, two, three. Wave with me, wave with me, and you will see everybody's smiling happily, waving, waving, one, two, three. Not bad. We can do all kinds of actions. I wonder what we'll do next time. You ready? Open them, shut them, open them. Shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open them. Shut them. Open them. Shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your nose, nose, nose. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them, right down to your toes, toes, toes. Those tickly little fingers, oh, they get me every single time. Oh, are yours that bad? Maybe you got tickled by those little tickly fingers. And that's okay, because maybe you're ticklish, but maybe you're not. We're not all the same, you know. Some people have tickly spots here. I don't. And some people's feet, <gasps> super tickly. Not mine usually. I have a ticklish spot that moves. So you never know where it could be. That's one of the things that makes me special. What makes you special? Well, today is about finding out about things that make us special. And this book that we're going to read right now is about special things on creatures. This book is called Wild About Us. It's by Karen Beaumont and illustrated by J Janet Stevens. I'm Warty Warthog. Can't be who I'm not. I am who I am and I've got what I've got. I've got tusks. I have warts. But I like what I see. In my own special way, I'm as cute as can be. Yes, sirree! We, we all are the way that we are meant to be. Crocodiles, proud of his big toothy smile. Rhino feels fine in her wrinkly skin. Elephant's confident, nothing is wrong. He knows that his nose is supposed to be long. Can you make an elephant noise? <coughs> no one laughs at giraffe because she's lanky and tall. She's supposed to be tall. Here at the zoo, there is room for us all. Would you dare tell Flamingo he shouldn't be pink? No. 
Or potbelly pig that she's too plump, do you think? Does porcupine care that she can't curl her hair? Is leopard upset he has spots everywhere? Hippo is happy. She loves her behind. It wiggles, it jiggles. It's one of a kind. She's proud of precisely the way it's designed. Chimps, ears stick out. As you clearly can see, he thinks they're charming. And we all agree. Kangaroo has huge feet. But you don't see her pout. She has much better things to be thinking about. We're glad we're all different. It would be such a shame if you came to the zoo and we were all the same. It's true, right? Can you imagine going to the zoo and seeing all of those creatures looking the same? Why would you want to go and see that? How would you know who anybody was? That's no fun. I think it's best to look just like you. Let's do a couple of rhymes and songs about being us and about being creatures. Let's start with that leopard. A leopard has lots of spots. So let's start by making spots. You ready? Spot, 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 spot. A leopard has lots of spots. What a lot of spots he's got. A zebra has stripes, like long thin pipes. But a leopard has lots of spots, spot, 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 spot. It's kind of fun, isn't it? Now, let's get up on our feet and do a couple of body ones about us. You ready? Let's start with head and shoulders, knees and toes. Ready? I know you guys know this one. And it's fun. Start with your head. Head and shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head and shoulders, knees and toes. Eyes, ears, mouth and nose. Now, do you remember ever doing a different version where we changed some of those words? Head and shoulders, tummy, bum. Can we do it? That's right, we get to do a, a bum one on purpose. All right, silly, let's give it a go. Head and shoulders, tummy and bum. Tummy and bum. Tummy and bum. Head and shoulders, tummy and bum. Eyes, ears, mouth, and thumb. Oh, did I trick you? Thumb rhymes with bum. Nose doesn't. Tricky, tricky. Gotta rhyme the right words. Ready? Let's do Tony Chestnut. Remember? This is my nut. Toe, knee, chest, nut. Here we go. Toe, knee, chest, nut, nose, I love you. Toe, knee, nose, toe, knee, nose, toe, knee, chest, nut, nose, I love you. That's what toe, knee, nose. That one ends in nose. Pretty silly. Bodies are silly. Bodies can do all kinds of things. And each one of our bodies is different. Let's get ready to do another story about that. But before we do, let's do Kangaroo Likes to Hop. Here we go. Kangaroo likes to hop. And Froggy likes to leap. Whee! Horses like to trot. Clip, clap, clip, clap, clip, clap, clip, clap, clip, clap, clip, clap. 
And I, I like to follow the heat. Whoop. This book is all about liking who you are. Even if you have sticky out of years, that's pretty good. Or fingers that can bend just the tops. Can you see that? It's a weird trick my fingers can do. Can yours? I think it's pretty neat. This book is all about thinking that you're pretty neat because you are. Let's read Karen Beaumont's story, I Like Myself. It's illustrated by David Catro. I like myself. I'm glad I'm me. There's no one else I'd rather be. I like my eyes, my ears, and nose. I like my fingers and my toes. I like me wild. I like me tame. I like me different and the same. I like me fast. I like me Low. I like me everywhere I go. I like me on the inside too for all the things I think and say and do. Inside, outside, upside down, from head to toe and all around. I like it all. It all is me. And me is all I want to be. And I don't care in any way what someone else may think or say. I may be called a silly nut. And I am a nut. Or crazy cuckoo bird. So what? I'm having too much fun, you see, for anything to bother me. Even when I look a mess. I still don't like me any less, cause nothing in this world you know can change what's deep inside. And so, no matter if they stop and stare, no person ever, anywhere, can make me feel that what they see is all there really is to me. I'd still like me with fleas and warts or with a silly snout that snorts <coughs> or knobby knees or hippo hips or purple polka dotted lips <coughs> or beaver breath <coughs> or stinky toes or horns protruding from my nose or yikes with spikes all down my spine, or hair that's like a porcupine. I still would be the same, you see. I'd like myself because I'm me. I hope you like you too. It's important to think that you're pretty neat because you know what? There's nobody in this whole wide world the same as you. They might be a little bit the same, but there's nobody exactly the same. And that is amazing. I have 10 little fingers and 10 little toes, two little arms and one little nose. I have one mouth, two little ears, two little eyes for smiles and tears. I have one little head and two little feet. One little chinny chin chin. And that's me, complete. It's pretty awesome. Your body is amazing. Now let's do something about opposites because that's some of the ways that we're different too. Are you ready? Okay. This is big, big, big. This is 
small, small, small. This is short, short, short. <gasps> and tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes. And this is no. It's important to be opposite sometimes. Sometimes it's important to be the same. It's important to show your uniqueness in lots of different ways. And sometimes the way we can show our uniqueness is in art. Today, we're going to do a scratch activity, which doesn't mean that I have fleas. Nope. Today in your kit, you're going to look for your scratch art creature. Now there's several different ones. So yours might not look like mine. You might have a giraffe, a zebra, or a lion. But either way, doesn't matter what creature you have, you're going to be able to make it look special and unique. And I'll show you how I make mine look special and unique. And we'll get to work together. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, so in my kit was the lion. I also had two different colors of yarn and I got my scissors. Now to do this, I'm going to take my stylus and I'm going to scratch the lion to make it look, to make the colors come through from behind. See, if you watch, I'm scratching away that black ink and I can make a flat color up here, like around his ear like this. I've got to be very careful when I brush it away that I don't brush too much ink away too. Because that's what that is. It's a dry layer of ink on top of that lion. And I'm going to keep scratching and scratching and scratching. And as you can see, I sped up time again so that I, you can see how I do the rest of the face quicker because this is going to take some time. Now you may have noticed that I kind of got rid of that U shape that's right under that eyebrow because I made a mistake. So I'm going to use what could have been a cheek color and I'm going to make his eyes a little bit lower. You can't even tell because all I did was just scratch off that space. So if I make a mistake, that's what I'm going to do. But right now I'm going to keep going on all of his face and around his ears trying to make that flat color of orangey yellow appear. And remember, if I want something to be black, I have to leave it alone. And if I want something to be colorful, then I have to scratch there. I'm going to keep going. Now, I'm going to do its mane, and I'm just going to keep scratching and scratching just straight lines all the way out, all the way around his mane. Doesn't he look cute? Now let's do a pattern on his nose, and maybe a different kind of pattern in his ears. And now let me see. I can make him even fancy. I can paint his toenails and fingernails, and I can maybe even give him some shadows and highlights, or I can make him look furry. I can color in his tail and maybe even give him a necklace. Who doesn't like wearing necklaces? Not this lion, he looks beautiful. And I can change and do lots of different things. And look at how pretty my lion is. I've used solids and stripes and spots and cross hatches and swirlies to make my lion all colorful and patternful. Now I can leave him on his picture like that or I can pop him out. And if I pop him out, that's what he looks like. But if I pop him out, I can't put him back. I chose to pop out my lion. And now you can see that I'm poking out all of these holes so that I can put in some of that yarn. 
you don't have to do this. It is a little bit tricky, but it does, and it does take a little bit of effort. So if you just like the way your lion is, that's okay. What I ended up doing was putting the yarn from the front and pulling it around the other side and then putting it through a loop over and over and over. And I did a pattern, yellow, red, yellow, red, all the way around. Now I've sped up time very quickly because this was not fast. This took me a long time to do. So it's your choice whether you like your lion on the page or with a mane or without. And that is my lion complete.